look outside just to show the conditions and the sun's not out, it's cloudy. And if I come in here at the point where it shows it's charging or not, and it is charging, which is quite impressive. So green lights on, as you can see just there. So you're not restricted actually to just charging two devices. The power that's given by this, it easily charge all of these devices. Hi there, today we're unboxing a power bank. So this particular one is by a company called Benfiz. Details in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. So it comes in a plain brown box, power bank written on there, got a barcode here in the corner with some details. If I come around here, it says solar charger. So it actually has four solar panels on there, very large capacity on this one. So 25,000 milliamp years and the actual solar charge is 5 volts, 5 watts. DC input is 5 volts and 1.8 amps. Output is 5 volts, 1 amp. Output 2 is 5 volts, 2.1 amps. And the weight is 538 grams. So if I come around here, no other details on there. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. Let me quickly go through them one by one. So you've got a user manual. And if I open this up, it says solar charger on here. And if I come in close, some interesting details. So charging time, 24 hours by a laptop, 10 to 13 hours by five volt, two amp charger, and 48 hours if it's under direct sunlight. So that's via the solar panels on this. So four solar panels, and if you left it, it have to be full 48 hours solid of sun to get this fully charged. Okay, other sides, some more details on there and all in English again. Okay, next you've got a clip. So this is used to attach the actual power bank to, for example, a rucksack. So you've got a buckle here. If I pull that off and there's a bit of material on there, Okay, it's so quite straightforward. You just push it in and it opens up. You'd attach it on your rucksack and then attach your power bank onto there and it hooks on quite well so it's nice and strong. And then to take it off, you just open it up, comes off. Build quality of this seems reasonable. Strong metal on there and the clip seems fairly strong, so good. Next, you've got a USB to micro USB charging cable. Length of the cable is 24 centimeters from here to here. Build quality seems good, not cheap and nasty in any way. So thick cable on there. Connectors wise, where it just connects on to the actual USB and micro USB points seems reasonable. Okay, so next, let's take a look at the actual power bank. So quite large in size, as you can see. So in terms of dimensions, three and a half centimeters thick, eight and a half centimeters wide and 15 and a half centimeters high. Okay, you can see here, it's been held together with the clip here. So if I undo that, you can see it reveals the solar panels. So you've got four solar panels in total and the material on this soft velvety material on there and fake PU lever on this side. So not real lever, but if I yank it, it doesn't come away, it's attached onto this just to show. And if I come in this angle, you can just see it just feeds back into the power bank, obviously, just to keep it nice and tightly attached. Okay, next, if I close it and close it up there, come around the top and you can see this is the USB connection points here. So if I open up this cover, so you've got two USB outputs here and one input there. So this is the micro USB point and obviously these two are the USB points. Okay, close that back up again and if I slowly come around just to give you an idea, these are the indicators for the actual capacity on there. So there's no LCD indicator, the indicators given by the actual lights that are provided on there. Okay, coming around further, nothing else on there. And then if we go on to the actual back of this, we can see there's a button here. So if I press that, it turns on the device. So, and it comes on and it just shows a blue light there. Okay, next, if I come in close here, you can just see the details on there. Obviously the model solar charger, the capacity on there, input maximum, solar panels, five volts, five watts, 
and output max is 5 volts, 2.1 amps. Okay, and in terms of design itself, black matte plastic on there, feels like a good strong finish on there. Slight recess showing the orange, no real need for it, just a design feature on there. And an LED light here, it seems. And to turn that on, obviously we just hold on to this button and it turns on. Okay, so nice build quality on this, a bit chunky, but that's only because the capacity actually provides. Okay, so here's an interesting test for the power bank. So I've connected one of the ports of the output to a four port USB hub. And on that hub, I've connected four devices. So two tablets and two mobile phones. So mobile phone here, Samsung mobile is charging. Google Pixel over here, that's charging. Got a budget tablet over here, that's charging as well. And a Samsung tablet here, which doesn't seem to be charging. Okay, so if I pull that out now and we plug it in directly, and there you go, it's charging now. So with the hub, you can actually charge three devices and if it's struggling with an additional device, you can use a second port. So you're not restricted actually to just charging two devices. The power that's given by this, it easily charge all of these devices. Okay, next I've plugged in a USB power meter here just to show what's being pulled off the three devices. Come in there, you can say it's nearly one amp. And if I plug in the tablet as well, still remains around the same. So it doesn't struggle in any way charging all four devices. Okay, so next, let me show the actual light in action on here. So very simple to turn on. You actually hold on to the button there and it turns on. If I turn the light off in here, just to give you an idea of brightness, there you go. Ample amount of brightness given on this. So good as an emergency torch. Okay, so next, let me show the power bank capacity indicator. So if I press the button at the side, the LEDs turn on here, three of them turned on. So if you've only got one on, that means the battery level is between zero and 25%. If you've got two on, that means it's between 25 and 50%. Three lights means 50 to 75, and all four means 75 to 100%. So good to have that indicator. Okay, so next, let me show the solar charging indicator. So if I now reveal all the panels and there's light in the background, there you go there, the green light there, that's the one that's indicating that the battery on this is charging via solar now. Okay, so I've got the power bank now attached to my rucksack. If we look outside, just to show the conditions and the sun's not out, it's cloudy. And if I come in here at the point where it shows it's charging or not, and it is charging, which is quite impressive. So green lights on, as you can see just there, and the lights are moving, indicating that it is charging. So it does say to fully charge it, it will take 48 hours with bright sunlight, but even in dull conditions, it does charge. So good to see that working. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this power bank. Excellent product, high capacity if you're after something like that. Build quality feels good on there as well. Obviously you've got the added benefit of the solar panels to keep it charged if you're out and about. LED light on there as well. The only thing missing really is a wireless charging point on there. But if you're just after something that has high capacity, this is the one for you. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.